So today is obviously the torch relay. How are you feeling? I'm really excited, really nervous. A range of emotions, really, because it's obviously such a great event to be part of. I think it's such an honour, but I think it's also a really great like day for the university as well, for the community. Um, so what does it actually mean to you to be nominated? I mean, it's, a, it's not a small thing to be nominated for. Um, well, at first I didn't, you know, I, when I got the phone call saying I'd been chosen to do it, it was a bit of a shock. And now it's, it's such an honour, I think, to be part of it. Because I know there are 8,000 torchbearers, but really that's so few people when you think of, you know, the, the scale of the event. And it's just great to be part of it. Uh, we're here with uh, the Director of Sport at the University of Bath. I think it's going to be a really memorable day for all the students and staff who can get involved in um, the Torch Relay. I mean, it's a a really exciting opportunity, relays the actual Torch on campus, starting the bath leg from here, running past Sports Training Village, and uh, I think it's just going to be a memorable occasion. Uh, You were down in town earlier when you were trying to break the, uh, the world record. I not say trying. Ju- not just trying, we actually succeeded, just. Just. Uh, the original record was about 2,100 and we got just shy of 2,400. So that's fabulous. So Fantastic. Another world record for Bath. And incidentally, I discovered that only a few months ago we got another world record in Bath with uh, a number of people doing one minute on a space hopper. So um, we're, yeah. we're collecting, we're collecting records. How many records could there center. possibly be? Uh, so where will you be watching it yourself? Are you going to be well, in the convoy somehow? I, or? I managed to steal a seat in one of the cars. Did in you? The convoy <laughs> right behind the runners. But hey, oh, guys, you know, well, there's got to be one of the perks point. of the job. Oh, absolutely, I'm a <laughs> member of the Olympic board, and so you know it's one of the perks that comes with all of the work we've been doing for seven years. I know, fantastic weather for this sort of event. Not so much for uh, students' revision, but there you go. <laughs> no, well, you know, I mean, uh, there's not going to be many days like this according to the weather forecast. So, guys, take the day off, have a look at what's going on in town and here, and then get back to the revision. Uh, outside the STV, where all the magic is about to happen in about two minutes' time. By the uh, Olympic rings. Yeah, the Olympic rings made out of flowers and. There are loads of people. You can hear screams already. Thousands of people. There's um, quite a few British Olympians. And we've got lecturers. We've got security. University staff are here. We've got some army people here. Uh, lots of kids. Lots of families. It's a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere. Beautiful day. How was the atmosphere here for the torch relay? It's, it's buzzing on campus today. It's very, very, very pleasant atmosphere. Justine, how are you today? I'm I just have economics exam tomorrow. And you've come out just despite having an exam, you've come out to see the, the torch. Of course, I just can't miss it. It's a lifetime opportunity. Do you think? So this is really quite a big event for you. Yeah, very big. I, I don't know whether I'm going to see it ever again. People sitting all the way up the hill. It's lovely. Perfect day for it. So who's the first person that's carrying the torch? Do you know anything about her? Faye Hollister, and she works at, at the university. Good. So very proud day for Faye as well. And we've got Hannah Wade, who is one of the university students, a very prominent student at the university, does a lot of charity work. The university is carrying it a bit further down in town. I think it's about to kick off. We're about to see the torch or the police driving past wonderful we've had the uh, the official sponsor buses going past getting the crowd going is nice hi tom what did, what did you come down here for today for i think just to, just to get a feel of the olympic spirit you know really get really looking forward to london 2012 are you proud of the university on this day oh absolutely i'm always proud of the university it's university of the year